Does cryotherapy actually work? This is my favorite question because for two reasons. One, I would never invest my money, even one dollar, into a product that I did not believe in. Um, two, the answer is yes if you do it the right way. If you come one time and you expect it to magically heal all of your aches and pains and sorrows, then you're setting the bar very high. It's like me seeing a personal trainer and I want to lose weight and I see them one time. What's going to happen? If I don't lose weight, I'm going to blame them. So if you commit to it and you actually are somewhat consistent in doing cryotherapy, then yes, it absolutely works. Is elite wellness only geared towards athletes? No, we have people that come here from age 12 to 78. They're all looking for different benefits that cryotherapy offer. Why do you stay in a cryo chamber for two and a half minutes only? Two and a half minutes is really all that's needed. There's no benefit from staying in there longer. Our machine gets very cold, some days negative 249 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's two and a half minutes is definitely enough time for the body to do what it needs to do. How often does someone need to do cryotherapy in order to see results? We have people that come in once a week and they have great results and they love it. And we have people that have the need of being here three to four times a week to get, to get the most benefit out of it. How did we get into the cryotherapy business? So this is a story I love to tell. I will give you the shortened version. Um, in 2017, Josie and I tried cryotherapy one time at a place in Maryland and we both hated it. I do not like the cold. So I said I would never go back. Fast forward three months, I tore a muscle along my spine called a paraspinal, 10 days out from a powerlifting competition and a triathlon the same weekend that I had trained for months and months and months for. Um, I spent about $5,000 going to all these different doctors, chiropractors, PTs, orthopedic surgeons, and the only thing they told me to do was rest. And as a trainer and a fitness professional, there's no way I'm gonna get paid by sitting around and resting, so I thought, how can I make my body heal faster from within? So I contacted the same place that I went to before that I said I would never go to again. I asked for the unlimited pack and I went for 30 days in a row. And you have to remember at this point, I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself. I couldn't put my shoes on. I had to sleep on the floor with my legs up. I had to have Josie like hold me so I could lay down slowly. It was just a terrible experience. And then after, after 30 days in a row, the orthopedic surgeon did another follow-up with an ultrasound and said that I must have healed that muscle probably three months faster than I should have if I had let it heal naturally. So that is how we got into the cryotherapy business. Is it better to do cryotherapy before or after exercise? It depends on the goal here. So if you are an athlete and you're trying to recover faster for a game, for between practice or tournament, then after. Now, if you have an injury, like an ankle injury, ankle injury, then I'll recommend you do before. Why is cryotherapy different than ice? Cryotherapy is whole body exposure, where an ice or ice pack, for example, is you put it on a localized spot. So if an, someone comes in, they're like, hey, do you have ice? Yeah, I'm gonna put ice on a knee, right? So blood will be pulled to this area to help heal that, right? Whole body means everything internally from head to toe is now going through that same anti-inflammatory process. So cryotherapy is much, much more powerful than a localized ice pack. So when people come here, that's how we try to explain to them, yes, you can go home and ice something repeatedly, or you can give this a try and it's 10 times more powerful than ice. The cryo chamber gets to at least negative 240 degrees Fahrenheit. How do you survive such a low temperature? Uh, despite the temperature being very low, your internal body temperature only drops one degree, so it allows you to stay and survive such cold.